Daryl K. Royal, Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, state capital of Texas, and home of the Longhorns since 1924, is as packed as usual for our upcoming game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 36. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. And down he goes at the 36 yard line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 36. And Brad, this gives you an indication of his versatility. He's a physical linebacker that a lot of times is up trying to stuff the run, but he has ability to be able to make plays in space, and this time he climbs the ladder and knocks that ball away. Dixon is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 25. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run up the middle. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, third down. He delivers. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, he thought he could take advantage of zone coverage by attacking the perimeter outside the hashes. That time, it was a corner route, and it got him the first down. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Ten yards. That'll make it second in inches. Going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That brings up third and 12. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32.
He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Call the loss of five yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he's level at the 34-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And they make the stop at the 37. Get him in the backfield. Loss of five on the play. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. Mike one. Mike one. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Quarter. Picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up fourth and five. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it third and three. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Jones makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Called a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 46. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. Three down, three down. Watch 48. Slam, slam, slam. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. From the 50. It's first down. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. They come out in a five-wide set. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball 
and it was incomplete. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets it off as he's hit, completes. And down he goes at the 35. They'll call on the field goal unit. Maryland is looking to go up by three. He gets it up and it's long enough and he missed it right, no good. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a game of play. That makes it second and two. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out right around the 42-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fire quickly, and he's got his man. And he is drilled at the 39. Second down and seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. Here's the tight end. Drops. Was the intended receiver on the play. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. No score here. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. We played one. Still no score. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. The Terrapins linebacker shaken up earlier, but he is a tough customer, and I think he'll be back in this game before it's over. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defenders. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. You know who's been wreaking havoc again. Is he in the offensive huddle? Does he know the snap count? I mean, the thing that's really impressing me the most is his ability to consistently get a great jump at the snap of the ball. 
And he's done all of this in the first half. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Runs it left for a decent game. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. He fights forward to about the 23. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He gets to about the 31-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Plus of six on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Moore. The return man. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. The running back, no good. Number 23, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 42. Check three, check three. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Loss of 11 yards on the play. That makes it fourth and nine. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 37-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here's an opening. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 49. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He goes out of bounds at the 45. That's a game of six on the play. That brings up second and five. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He fights forward to about the 33. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Check three, check 
Tosses to the running back and he pulls in another one. Fourth down. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Texas is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. Dixon is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he hits him hard at the 30. Ford on the tackle at the 30 yard line. That'll make it third and five. Scrambling around. Fumble, loose ball. Picks up the loose ball, and they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. First and 10. Ball on the 41. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Let's go deep. Here he goes. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Game of 12 yards. First down. And he just gets rid of it. From the 47 yard line. Second down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The Terrapins lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas is up a field goal. The counter. Tackle after decent pickup. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. their own 36 yard line it's second down where the defense has to be very frustrated there they did everything they got to the quarterback in fact it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack and somehow he's able to throw the ball away Go. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. And this one is a beauty. Tackle made at the 29. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball of the 29. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 45. Quick pass. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. On the tackle. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 43. Gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. Two down, two down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Two, two. Yeah. 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 He scrambled. Tackle made at the 36. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Draw play. Taken down in the backfield. Maryland's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Maryland is looking to tie things up. is away it's long enough and he nails the long field goal great snap and a perfect hold and he just had an awesome follow-through everything went right there on that long field goal and this one's not enough at three and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. That's incomplete. So we've played two quarters. 3-3 three, three tie. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, 
pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're yeah. loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. Loose football. It's picked up by the defense. And down he goes, around the 18-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bomb. They need to hold on to the football. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Booming kick. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. Nice yardage on the run back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. Nice run up the middle. And he 
He's taken down around the 47-yard line. On the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Moore is back deep to return. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Bird is back awaiting the punt. Bird takes it at the 47. Broke away from one. He's taken down at the 41. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The halfback loses about one on the option. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 42. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. 43 is the fight. Check, check. Makes it out to about the 16. receiver number six was the intended receiver on the play so we're looking at another third down here third and eight. Four down, four down. hey i got number 80 i got number 80 let's go let's go, let's go. under heavy pressure and he tackles him hard at the 21 that is a loss of six on the play fourth down Texas is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled at the 34. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. First down. Check 
gets to about the 37-yard line. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it first and ten. Make the stop around the 39-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check it out. Wait, wait. 49, check 49, check 49. Makes his way out to about the 15. Game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. What a play, and that is first and goal. Jefferson on the tackle at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They come out in a five-wide set. Scrambling around. Slides down. Terrapins. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now... 10-6. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40. And they finally tackle him at the 46-yard line. Makes it to the 37. That's a game of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Tackled at the 15 yard line. You ain't going nowhere. First down. Here he goes. Makes it out 
to him on the seven. Down right around the six yard line. Gain of one on the play. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. So with one quarter remaining, the Terrapins in front, 10-6. To the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth back 22, quarter. Back 22. And down he goes at the one. No game on the play. That makes it third and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, neither offense has really found a rhythm in this one right now. The defenses have had a lot to do with that, obviously. They're giving different looks. They're blanketing the receivers. They're slowing down the running game. Dixon has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Little handoff. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. I'm coming after you. 36. 36. And he just gets rid of it. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Bird will be the return man. <laughs> Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Return for a gain of 17 yards. A score here might effectively end this one. Texas has a three-point lead. Ready? He might have a chance. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. Number Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Let's go, let's go. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. 
makes it to the 44. Gain of 12 on the play. Right, 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 right. That makes it 37. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, check, check. Green 19. 98 Weasel. 92 Weasel. He's hit and taken down. Loss of three on the play. Brings up fourth and 11. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he hits him hard at the 23-yard line. Run to the left there. Call it a gain of seven yards. Let's go, beat it. Third down. Let's get there. 25 is the mic. 26, 46. Alert three. Alert three. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. No game on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Thirty-four-yard punt. Out of bounds at the thirty-six-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas is up by three. Got an opening. Makes it out to about the forty-six. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Got some open field. Inside the 10. Touchdown! What a run to take the lead. Change your quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've gotta be ready to trust this guy. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He fires. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Go to the left for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That will make it second and four. And we got Mike, number 53. 
And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. go Ball go. on the 31. Handoff to the right. He's at the 20, inside the 10. And it's a whole new ball game. That was simply sensational running. And it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 71-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. This will be an exciting drive here late in this game. The offense looking for at least a field goal to try to tie this game. Maybe a touchdown, they could take the lead. If you're the defense, it's important that they continue to be aggressive. They cannot allow this quarterback to sit back there and make easy decisions. Rose left, the running back's got it. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they got him for a loss. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Hurd is back deep to return. Hurd takes it the 36. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Return for a game of 11 yards. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He fights forward to about the 40. Maryland will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Maryland's called their final timeout. Second down and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they make the stop at the 28. A little over a minute in the game. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Go. 
Makes it to the eight. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 2017 Longhorn. And the Maryland Terrapins. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.